Good morning, everybody. It's uh, good to be able to share this time with you again on this uh, Holy Thursday or Maunday Thursday. Today is a special day in the life of our Christian faith, in the story of our Christian faith. It's the day when we remember uh, that Jesus gathered with his disciples in the upper room and shared his last supper with them and thereby instituted for us uh, as a lasting remembrance of him the Holy Eucharist, the sharing of the bread and wine which we give thanks to God for today. It's also that it was also the night when Jesus um, washed his disciples feet as a symbol of his servanthood as well as his kingship and so today we thank God for uh, the humility of Jesus and we pray for the uh, to be able to follow that example of showing humility in love and service to others and also it's it, today uh, will mark the night when Jesus um, prayed in the garden of Gethsemane on that night before he was handed over uh, to the authorities uh, to be uh, judged and then uh, condemned to crucifixion. And so today our thoughts and prayers are very much with those uh, who also feel alone. And we remember the words of Jesus, um, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? As he lay uh, as he lay dying on the cross and also um, those words that he uttered um, in the garden of Gethsemane not my will O Lord but your will be done and so we remember all those who are in um, dark and distressing and painful circumstances particularly those who are uh, suffering at this time from the Covid-19 uh, virus, those who have needed to be um, hospitalised and particularly those who are being cared for in intensive care units, uh, including our own uh, Prime Minister, and offer our prayers uh, for those today. We also uh, today uh, reflect on where we've arrived at following these past a uh, couple of weeks of isolation and um, reflect on the um, urging of the government based on the medical and scientific advice they're being given uh, to us all, to urge us all to continue in these efforts to curb the escalation uh, of this virus beyond uh, the point that the resources of our health service um, would be able to meet and uh, on a positive level the um, evidence or the statistics or graphs seem to be showing uh, that that is possibly working and so it would be a, a real kind of sadness if uh, we were tempted now to perhaps not take this um, isolating as seriously as we need to do. I know how difficult it is and I know how um, hard it is for uh, some of our younger people, particularly uh, those who are full of zest for life, uh, to find um, the, the need to be, be isolated at home with their families. Uh, but it's important that we encourage them and encourage each other for this very short time, hopefully, to continue in our um, joint efforts uh, to actually do what we can uh, both to uh, save lives and to support our uh, National Health Service uh, at this time. Also today, I want us to think about our farmers in our parish and, you know, we have several dairy farmers in our parish and I uh, listened this morning on the radio to the distressing news uh, that many of them are having to uh, pour away uh, milk because of the reduction in consumption now that all the cafes and hotels and so forth are uh, a close for business and how that 
is impacting upon their livelihood. So do keep them in your prayers um, and particularly uh, at this time as they also deal uh, with uh, the lambing season which is a joyful time and something that we all uh, look forward to seeing the evidence of. But behind that lies a lot of hard work and a lot of sleepless nights and so we hold um, the farmers of our parish in um, our prayers today also. I also wanted to um, speak to you today about uh, the stage of things we're at really and the fact that you know for some people it is difficult uh, and it's hard to keep going. Uh, but at times like that, it's important for us to remember that we're not alone, even though it might feel like that. And even though for some of us that um, importance and, and, and healing and symbol of the touch of another human being isn't there. Uh, but please be, be assured that um, we are here for each other and reach out in whatever way you can to others, either by telephone or by text or whatever. We've all got people we know that we can um, speak to with trust and confidence. And let's use uh, each other to support each other at this time. And also just a final reminder about protecting ourselves from this incessant uh, onslaught and assault of, of um, news that we're getting from all directions, particularly if you use the internet. Be very careful about how much you expose yourself to the news that's put on there. I heard this morning again that over 50% of the um, information and the news that's put out on the internet uh, is false information and lots of it uh, is the kind of information that generates concern and anxiety. So do um, protect yourself from that, resist that temptation to be constantly listening uh, to television and radio uh, and looking on the internet as well and try to limit yourself. It's important that we do uh, keep up to date and keep in touch but perhaps just listening to the news uh, once or twice each end of the day uh, is sufficient for that so that we don't become uh, too uh, distracted and our emotional energy isn't sapped by uh, what can be constant negative news, particularly uh, if it's not authentic or honest news as well. And so today um, I leave you uh, with um, the thoughts about Holy Thursday, Maundy Thursday. Also, um, remember, this is only the fifth time in our Queen's 68 years of reign that she will have missed distributing uh, the Maundy money uh, to her subjects. And this will be a, a sad and salutary day for her. And so we remember her in our prayers also. And on a positive note, um, do go on to our parish website uh, www.lundparish.org.uk um, and on there you'll find some lovely examples of our children's work um, at, during this Holy Week of the making of crosses and telling the Easter story, which are so uplifting, and I thank um, them for doing that for us. And keep them coming, and we'll do our very best to feature them. Uh, but if you want to lift your spirits, then do go on uh, to our parish website and uh, have a look at those. And also talking about websites, um, if you go on to the diocesan website, the Diocese of Blackburn, there's some quite um, helpful resources there for um, Holy Week, for making the most of Holy Week whilst we're isolated at home, uh, and quite a, a helpful sheet there for using at home in, um, for simple methods of remembering uh, the events of Holy Week and allowing ourselves to enter into those. 
Can I just remind you that tomorrow is Good Friday and um, I'll be uh, here again at 10.30 in the morning with a short service for our children uh, and then at 2.30 tomorrow afternoon as we reflect on that final journey uh, of Jesus uh, to the cross uh, and to his death. And so I look forward to joining with you uh, tomorrow morning. And so I invite you now to join with me to gather all our prayers together, our prayers uh, of uh, petition to Almighty God for those that we're concerned for uh, and our thanks to him for the blessings that we receive from him, him each and every day of our lives as we pray together now the prayer that Jesus himself taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And so may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be upon you and upon those you love this Holy Thursday and always. Amen.